Hi friends, I just want to highlight one quick thing with all the hydroponic systems except AeroGuardian. For example, I have a LED pod hydroponic system here, but I see same setting in all the other hydroponic systems such as IDO, Spider Farmer, Mars Hydro, LED pod, etc. So, coming to this, these gardens come with two grow modes. The one we see here, vegetable and herb and the second one is flower and fruit the difference is in the vegetable and herb mode all three color combination of lights will turn on like blue white and red when i switch to flower and fruit the blue lights will turn off now we can see only red and white the theory behind the setting is once the plants get into fruiting and flowering stage they don't need a lot of foliage so we can turn off the blue light and the plants continue to develop fruits and flowers but the catch is even during the flowering and fruiting stage the plant still needs enough foliage because the foliage will help with photosynthesis and that will help the plant develop the fruits i have a watermelon plant growing here and i see two watermelons growing nice in this garden once I started seeing the development of fruit on this plant, I switched this garden from vegetables to fruit mode. Just within days, I started seeing all the foliage started drying up, it's all turning yellow and I almost saw no green at all. That was pretty scary and I quickly recalled the mistake I did. So I switched it back to vegetable and herb mode again. Now the plant started developing some foliage. Because of no foliage for some time, the development of fruit almost got stunted. So, switching to fruits and a flowering mode is not a good idea. I think that is the reason AeroGuardian never added that kind of support. Look at the plant in AeroGuardian. I have same variety of watermelon plant growing in AeroGuardian. And AeroGuardian never give the option of turning off blue lights. So, this garden is always running on all the light combination. So, with that, I see all the nice foliage on this plant. There is still some yellow, but those are all older leaves. There is lot of green all over the plant. Let me just show it in a bigger landscape. Now we can compare the growth. On the left side, I have Aerogodon Bounty with lots of greens. And on the right side, the lead pot with lots of yellow. If I didn't switch back to vegetable and herb mode, this entire light pot, the entire plant in this light pot will be yellow by now. Glad that I caught it and immediately switched back to vegetable mode. So even if you are growing fruiting plants in any of these hydroponic systems, just stick to veg and herb mode. If you really think it is going to help you, maybe you can play with it. For example, you can keep the plant two days on a vegetable and herb mode and two days on a fruit and flower. But that's maintenance. You need to keep remembering like when to make the switch, etc. But I'm not going to play with it. I am simply stick to veg and herb mode all the time. Doesn't matter what plant I'm growing, whether it is vegetable or whether it is fruiting plant, I will simply stick to veg and herb mode all the time. Very similar to AeroGuardians.